Uh, sometimes it's just a love of painting where I get into a zone and I'm, I'm making stuff and I'm doodling and I'm sketching and, you know, I might have a, you know, an idea for uh, this narrative, but a drawing might fall out of my notebook or sketchbook and I might say, oh, I got to stick that in there somewhere. That, that has to be part of this. And it's kind of like part of my life narrative. So it, it, it fits, you know, the painting. And that might be, you know, a point where people are, are looking and they're figuring out clues, but then they stop and they say, well, what is this thing? And, and, and I, but I think that, that draws them in a little bit more too. I work very process driven and not so concerned with the final product. It'll get there. But you know the, the discovery as I'm working on the piece will um, kind of open up and let me um, take the piece further than having it all planned out in the beginning. The one time I made this piece I was so excited about and it was this figure and the thing with clay is you know something can happen along the way. It's usually a really long process but this piece fell off the um, fell off the, ta off the table, but it landed on her head and then the piece looked so much better upside down that it was like a really happy accident. Once I found my voice and I decided this is who I am, this is my style for lack of a better word, um, I'm very comfortable making it now. I don't have that fear that I, that I always had from the blank you know, sheet of paper, the blank canvas, that, that doesn't happen anymore. From when I was 23, what I wanted to do is combine traditional fine art sensibility with technology and communication design and kind of meld it into some sort of thing, you know. Any sort of creative expression for me, if it's, if it's good, it makes me think, makes me laugh, makes me cry, just moves me in some way, it's, it's art. The thing that, that always fascinated me about creating, whether art, music, whatever, is that this thing didn't exist before, and so you're making a thing out of nothing. So you, this, this wasn't, this didn't exist. The music didn't exist. You wrote it, so you brought this thing into being, and I, I think that's a, that's a pretty special thing if you're able to do that. Since I use a lot of found materials, and sometimes I'll, I'll be driving along the streets, you know, wherever it could be Pittsburgh, it could be Cleveland, wherever, a lot of industrial places, and I'll see wood and things that I, I go, oh, that's really cool. That's a cool green, or that's a. Uh, what is happening there, and I'll put it in my truck, my old expedition, I paint stories. I know that sounds a little cheesy, like a little bit of a tagline, uh, but it is true. I, I think sometimes I'm inspired by talking with somebody or meeting somebody. Like I'd, I'd rather see something really creatively bad <laughs> that hasn't been done. You're like, man, what is happening? That's horribly cool, you know? That's pretty ugly, the name of the show.